Welcome back to our video series on the Play Framework using Scala. We left off where we're working on our second version of the task list. And we had gotten to the point where you could log in and it showed you a task list, but we had just rapidly copied over the task list from, from our previous version, which has forms that do traditional posts. And we don't want that. Okay, and it turns out that for this version, we can actually uh, make things a lot simpler. Okay, so our tasks can just be the text and we can attach on click handlers to them. Delete task and how about we go with I. Okay, we'll play with that some more later, make sure that's that's happy. And we had a form for adding down here. Uh, we'll hold off on that for for a minute. Um, we also had a login page. And remember, because it's using Ajax, this isn't giving back full pages, they're just partial pages. We have a login page where the login works, uh, but there is this create user which would call a JavaScript create user. And right now that just says trying to create a user. What it should really do is the same type of thing that our login does. So it gets the username and password not from login, but from create. And just to, to note, those are the IDs that we gave here. So we pull those out and then we're going to replace the contents with a load, not a validate to, but something like create to. Okay, that would need to be a new route that we have that creates a new user. Once again, this is using a get request and these values are just appended on and this is not ideal because these values are not encrypted. Uh, the, the get URL, actually the URL, whether it's a get or a post, has to be non-encrypted because every router along the way has to see the URL for, for where it's going. So we really should change these to posts, but this will do for, for now. So we need that create, well, def create user, and I'm actually just going to do some copy and paste from validate user because it's going to look very much the same, right? It takes a username and a password. It doesn't call validate user. It calls create user, but that also takes a username and a password. If it is successful, it will respond with the uh, tasks using our task list two of the username and otherwise it will send them back to, to the login page. And we could verify that this is working. Let's do a refresh. Okay, so if I try to create another version of Mark, oh, do I have, do I have a typo in there? Because if I let's make sure everything okay, so that's this is happy. I I like this. Uh, that's one thing to note that when you use a back button on okay, our create is not currently doing anything. Let's go look on click. This calls create user. Oh, missing T. And this is in some ways what I was doing there. I was being dumb. I didn't have this open. If I had had this open, we would have seen that there is no create user. Let's refresh this. And uh, create two not found. I don't think we added a route for it. So we added an action in here, but we didn't add a route. Let's try that again. 
Okay. Create a user. No, I didn't get a uh, a message saying that it failed. But I can't log in with it. So I'll have to do some debugging on that. Okay, so we need to figure out why create doesn't actually appear to be doing a create. Standard rule of thumb when you're programming, if you think your code should be doing something and it's not, that means that you need to find out what it's actually doing. That can be done with a debugger or print statements. And so I'm going to put a print line in here that says creating a user. We could also go into our JavaScript just to make sure that console.log username password. Make sure that our JavaScript is being called properly. Let's check our route. Create two of username and password. Our routes create two. Ah, that would do it. Okay. Refresh. Notice I don't even have to go back to the main page. Uh, create is not a member of task list two. I called it create user. I have to admit I did that because in some ways adding a task seems like a create as well. Okay. Okay, that got us here and we're back in. What about that worked as well and I should still be able to get in there. Okay, so creating the user seems to work. Uh, we have a task list that shows us our set of tasks without the, the additional forms on it. We could probably get the add in, in here if we wanted, uh, or a delete. So how should we go about doing those? So on this task list, so I've, I've put in here a delete task of I. That's not, that doesn't exist right now. Um, in fact, we can verify this if I click these things. I get messages over here in the console because that doesn't exist. So we need to have a delete task that takes the number of the tasks we're deleting. Function delete task. I'll call it index here. And this should go ahead and do our delete. I don't need my username and password. In fact, actually, I don't need, let's just copy to there. Delete index equals index. Okay, so this is saying we're going to have a route for to call delete, and it's going to have one parameter called index def delete index is an int equals an action, and whereas a lot of my actions here haven't had implicit requests, this one will. Uh, it'll definitely need the the uh, request part of the data because we have to pull things out of the session. Um, okay, we can make this so it compiles. Make sure all of our stuff is hooked up, and then we can worry about functionality. So let's do a get. We'll call this sure delete task two, uh, following our earlier naming scheme. Controllers, task2, delete task. That's an integer. Uh, let's see what happens. 
So we refresh. I log in. Uncaught reference I not defined. That makes sense. If we go and we look at this page, <coughs> that's just passing in a normal I. I want that to be the variable from my for loop, not just, <coughs> not just a variable name. Because that's not an I in JavaScript. And that's one of the things that, that you have to pay close attention to is where is this code running? Remember the templates are being generated on the server that JavaScript is being run on the client. Okay, delete index equals to URL not found. Because I called it delete task. Note that I'm not using reverse routing here. Uh, I think it's actually delete task two is the route. Yep. I'm not using rever reverse routing in this. I haven't used reverse routing in any of this. And that's because the way this is written, I can't. Okay, these this JavaScript file, just like the other JavaScript file that we wrote, is not a view template. It's not being generated by the by play. As a result, I can't refer to the Scala code inside of here. I can't do my reverse routing when I get to this point. <clears throat> we'll come back to that when we try to finish this off and talk about how we could do a better job with these routes. Uh, technically, you can. Views don't have to be HTML files. We could actually have a view that generates a uh, this JavaScript if we wanted, and that might be an interesting way to try this out. But first, okay, deleting. So we got this far. It doesn't actually do a delete. I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and we'll come back in the next video. We'll make it so that the delete actually does a delete. And then at the same time, we will put in the ability to add, uh, give ourselves that functionality as well.